tutorial three on how to do geek tool weather script so as you can see i've got mine here this is the image i'll teach you how to do the other ones first of all we're going to talk about these as you may have seen these were in my spider-man background and they fit here you can only have them on one page because they are not made with geek tool they are made with yahoo widgets first of all you need to download the yahoo widgets preferences thing the link will be in the description and then you download the two widgets and basically you just set the background to black if you have the spider-man thing whatever color you want and set the rest to whatever color you want you can right click on them to get that settings but I've locked these down so nothing can ever happen to them so you can't drag them but if you go up to here I can change it so now let's get started with the geek tool weather. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is go into Yahoo, Yahoo weather and you click on it. Now I'm just going to say Canada. And right, and now copy and paste this hide this bar up here include the http it just comes with this it doesn't actually say it but it does and now in the text file i have created you go down to the weather grab image script where it says your url only your url leave the two lines i forgot what you call them hyphen a's or whatever they're called just delete the your url and paste what we have just copied now copy that whole script obviously, obviously not the title and go on to geek tool and create a new shell click and drag and paste that script and you should see it here and you will save this and as you'll see nothing happens that is because this box is just an empty box which grabs the image for the image file so now you set the refresh rate you don't need to bother with anything else and you can set the refresh rate to whatever you like because I'm not actually going to use this I'm just doing it now create a new image file like I've just done by clicking and dragging on geek tool it is here and go to the weather grab image script just copy the whole thing there's nothing needs to be changed Normally you need to set the path, but nothing does. And now you will see the image, the weather image. And now, for the rest, it's a little more complicated. If you delete this box, of course, it will just stay like this forever. So you don't want to delete that box, but I've just deleted it, so I'll just put it back quickly. the battery pair and you can make this box as small as you like and you put it anywhere I normally put it behind the weather one now for the two day force forecast you will see these scripts and it will say your area code for your area code you need to go back onto yahoo weather and type in your location as I had Canada and click on this RSS instead now get this eight digit code without the and and the equals and copy that instead of the whole URL now we go back onto our text and you paste your code up here where it says paste your area code and then for whatever you want the metric is obviously the Celsius, you just put it where the your area code is, make sure you don't delete the and and the equals again, and you paste it in, and then you copy the whole of that, make a new shell, paste it in, and put the refresh rate to about whatever you want. 
I'm not keeping it, so I'm putting it quite low at the moment. And as you can see, we have our two-day forecast. I just made that bit too big there. And here is our two-day forecast for Canada, as I have said it. <laughs> and you do the same with the others. So where it says your area code in the metric readout of today, you just paste it there. Oh, I've just pasted the whole code. Go well, back up to the top, copy your area code again. And then where it says metric readout, I want that. So where it says your area code, you just paste it in, copy the whole script, and make another shell, and paste it in. And then put about one second. And as you can see, in Canada, it's fair 18 Celsius today, according to this. And obviously, you get this picture, and you can put them next to it. And that concludes our tutorial. There are other ones included in this group, like the conditions and the temperature. But you know how to do them now. So it says your error code, you just paste it in for the rest of them. And the weather and image script I have taught you. So, yeah. That is the end of our tutorial.